Princess Beatrix of Bavaria attends a celebration in Munich. Members of the royal family of Tonga preside over an inauguration in Nuku'alofa. King Felipe VI of Spain trains for an upcoming regatta in the Bay of Palma. And Queen Margrethe II of Denmark attends a changing of the guard in South Jutland. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're doing well. My name is Alexandra, and this is your Royal Daily News for July 29, 2023. In Brussels, the Belgian Royal Court announced that Her Royal Highness Princess Elizabeth of Belgium, Duchess of Brabant, along with her fellow students from the Royal Military Academy, will take the military officer's oath later this year. For the past three years, the princess and her fellow students participated in an intense military training summer camp, which included learning how to lead a platoon of 30 soldiers, theory lessons, tactical exercises, and combat procedures, putting them in the role of officers for the first time. The students also learned how to, quote, use more complex weapons, such as grenades and anti-tank weapons, end quote. Meanwhile, Prince Gabriel of Belgium and his fellow students completed their first year at the Royal Military Academy, which includes the traditional summer military training camp. The Belgian Royal Court notes that during the month-long training camp, Prince Gabriel and his fellow students, quote, stepped out of the comfort zone and learned how to push their limits. The program includes obstacle races, camouflage courses, shooting exercises, and various sporting activities. Group exercises have also helped to boost group morale, end quote. In South Jutland, Her Majesty Queen Margrethe II of Denmark and Her Royal Highness Princess Benedicte of Denmark watched the traditional changing of the royal lifeguards held in the courtyard at Grostin Slot. Every Friday at noon, known as Friday Parade, the changing of the guard takes place in the palace courtyard, where during the changeover, the band of the royal lifeguards performs a short concert in front of the middle wing in the presence of Her Majesty the Queen and members of the royal family. On Tuesday, His Royal Highness Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark was spotted enjoying a round of golf at a local golf course just outside the town of Skagen. Well, it's that time of year again when members of the Royal Family of Spain begin their two-week summer holiday on the lovely island of Palma de Mallorca. Yesterday, His Majesty the King arrived at the Estación Naval de Puerto Pi to train for the upcoming 41st edition of the Copa del Rey Mathfree to be held in the Bay of Palma beginning on Monday, July 31st, 2023. Prior to noon, His Majesty the King, along with his longtime crew, including Admiral Jaime Rodriguez, boarded the IFOS, a TP-52 sailboat, for a day at sea. On Thursday, His Majesty the King held audiences with various government officials representing the Balearic Islands at Palacio Real de la Almundaina. The day began with an audience with the President of the Balearic Islands, Ms. Margarita Rigo, the President of the Parliament of the Balearic Islands, Mr. Gabriel Licene y Presedo, the Mayor of Palma, Mr. Jaime Martinez Yabres, and the President of the Mallorca Council, Mr. Yorich Galmeso. Meanwhile, Her Majesty Queen Letizia of Spain, Her Royal Highness Princess Leonor of Asturias, and Her Royal Highness Infanta Sofia of Spain will arrive on the beautiful island of Palma this afternoon. Tomorrow, Her Majesty the Queen will attend the closing ceremony of the 13th edition of the Atlantida Mallorca Film Festival in Palma. In other news, His Majesty, Emeritus King Juan Carlos I of Spain, arrived at Puerto de San Senso in northern Spain on Thursday to train for an upcoming regatta organized by the Real Club Nautico de San Senso. The disgraced 85-year-old Emeritus King arrived at the Penedor Airport in Vigo on Wednesday via a private jet 
owned by a member of the royal family of Abu Dhabi. As he disembarked from the jet, the old king was greeted by his loyal friend, Mr. Pedro Campos. On Thursday in Amman, His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan, accompanied by His Royal Highness Crown Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II of Jordan, held a meeting with the Secretary of State for Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Affairs of the United Kingdom, the Right Honorable James Cleverly MP at Al Husseinia Palace. During the meeting, His Majesty the King stressed the deep-rooted ties with the United Kingdom and expressed his interest in enhancing cooperation across various sectors and maintaining coordination in service of mutual interests. His Majesty the King and Secretary Cleverly also discussed the latest regional and international developments, the refugee crisis, and its effects on the host communities and the importance of continuing to provide international aid in this regard. On Thursday in London, His Royal Highness the Duke of Gloucester attended a commemorative service marking the 70th anniversary of the signing of the Korean Armistice Agreement held on Horse Guards Parade. Meanwhile, in Tokyo, Her Imperial Majesty Empress Masako of Japan, as Honorary President of the Japanese Red Cross Society, attended the 2023 Florence Nightingale Medals Presentation Ceremony. On Friday, in Bangkok, His Majesty King Rama X of Thailand held an audience with members of the Royal Family of Thailand, the Prime Minister, the President of the National Assembly, the President of the Supreme Court, and various senior government officials held inside the Throne Hall at the Grand Palace. The event was held on the occasion of His Majesty the King's 71st birthday in order for these lucky few to personally wish His Majesty the King a very happy birthday. In the afternoon, Their Majesties King Rama X and Queen Sothita of Thailand accompanied by Her Royal Highness Princess Avira Vanavari of Thailand, attended a ceremony on the occasion of His Majesty the King's birthday, held inside the Temple of the Emerald Buddha at the Grand Palace. On Thursday, Her Royal Highness Princess Avira Vanavari of Thailand presided over the opening of the Emporium M. Courtier's Sense of Thai, and the Thai Textiles Trend Fashion Show featuring Asava and Issue. The event was organized by Her Majesty Queen Sirikit, the Queen Mother Foundation, the Department of Cultural Promotion, the Ministry of Culture of Thailand, and the Government Savings Bank. On Friday in Kuala Lumpur, his Majesty, the King of Malaysia, performed Friday prayers at the National Mosque ahead of the 2023 Heroes Day festivities to be held on Monday, July 31st. In Nukualofa, the Royal Highnesses Crown Prince Toputoa and Crown Princess Sanaitakala of Tonga attended the inauguration of the new U.S. Embassy. The embassy is located in the old National Reserve Bank building in the capital city. According to a U.S. Department of State press release, the opening symbolizes the renewal of, quote, our relationship and underlines the strength of our commitment to our bilateral relations to the people of Tonga and to our partnerships in the Indo-Pacific region. Establishing a new embassy is a first step that will pave the way for the U.S. government to deploy additional diplomatic personnel and resources, including the potential appointment of a resident ambassador to Tonga. We value our shared history with Tonga, with relationships dating back to 1886 and the establishment of diplomatic relations in 1972. The United States is pleased to join fellow partners represented by embassies in Tonga." End quote. In Kaltenberg, His Royal Highness Prince Luitpold of Bavaria attended the final weekend of the famous Kaltenberger Knights Tournament and Festival held at Schloss Kaltenberg. 
So what is the Kaltan Belga Knights Tournament and Festival? Well, it's similar to medieval times in Buena Park, California. Only cooler and way better costumes. Simply put, it's the largest medieval festival, which began in 1980 by Prince Luitpold. When asked why people are fascinated with the Middle Ages, the 72-year-old prince, who is the great-grandson of the last Bavarian king, Ludwig III, said, quote, People like costumes, end quote. Now that's true. The Kaltenberg Knights Tournament and Festival also features a medieval market featuring various handicrafts, delicious cuisine, and Kaltenberg dark beer. In the arena, there's an open-air stage where musicians, jugglers, dancers, storytellers, and fire artists put on a spectacular show. In Munich, Her Royal Highness Princess Beatrix of Bavaria attended the 125th anniversary celebrations at the Adel Gundenheim Educational Support Center. Established in 1834, the purpose of the association at the time was to, quote, reduce the suffering of children living on the streets. Exactly 100 years ago, the center was transferred to the care of the Catholic Youth Welfare Service of the Archdiocese of Munich. Over the years, the services offered by the Adelgundenheim, named after Princess Adelgunda, the daughter of King Ludwig III of Bavaria, have expanded. Today, the center provides tutoring for children and young people, educational counseling, and other services that support children, young people, and families. End quote. If you are unfamiliar with Princess Beatrix of Bavaria, well, she is the wife of His Royal Highness Prince Luitpold of Bavaria, and the mother of His Royal Highness, Prince Ludwig of Bavaria. On Tuesday in Bayreuth, Princess Gloria von Thun and Taxis attended the opening of the 2023 Richard Wagner Bayreuth Festival, held at the Bayreuth Festival Theater. And finally, in Lisbon, the Royal Highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Branganza, visited the headquarters of the World Youth Day 2023 Lisbon. During their visit, the Duke and Duchess were given a tour of the building by Bishop Aguiar, as well as unveiled a commemorative plaque. After the unveiling, Bishop Aguiar gave a speech noting that the royal family are, quote, important representatives of the 900 years of the history of Portugal, end quote. Bishop Aguiar also thanked the Duke and Duchess for their support for the upcoming World Youth Day. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. I will be back tomorrow on Sunday, July 30th with all the latest world news. No, really, I will be. <laughs> Until then, I wish you all a wonderful Saturday afternoon and a great weekend. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a thing. Okay, have a great weekend, everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.